What's up everybody, Chris from Full Steam Designs. So a company just sent me these adjustable height table legs. And while we'll talk about these a little bit more later, for now I need to go ahead and build a tabletop for them. So I'm kind of shooting from the hip on this project, but I think I got a pretty good idea of what I want to do. I'm going to use this 3 quarter inch thick 4x4 four four sheet of plywood. Uh, we're going to use a little bit of epoxy, and I'm going to use these brass wall tiles. They're a stick-on wall tile. And let's see what we can come up with. And I want to try to keep this a little DIY friendly, so I'm going to limit the tools I use to a circular saw, a router, a sander, and a drill. So let's get to work. After I cut my 4x4 sheet of plywood in half, I coated one side with an even layer of wood glue. Next I sanded everything and drew out a rough shape of where I wanted the tiles to be. I used a utility knife to cut between the hexagons through the adhesive backing. I found that it was easiest to mark the lines on the top, then flip them over and make sure everything was connected and cut through. Just take your time here and don't worry about messing up. If you lay out a pattern you don't like, just remove the pieces and start over. I tried to keep the pieces square to the edge of the table and traced where they would be so I wouldn't lay them out in a different pattern. I ended up only using two of the five tiles that came in this pack, so I have plenty more for another project. I'll put links in the description to everything I used in this video. If you have any other ideas where these tiles could be used, I'd love to hear about them in the comment section. It's very important that the surface is perfectly level to prevent the epoxy from pooling up on one side. If you had to adjust it, you could just use pieces of wood as shims under the table or the legs of your workbench. Next I used tape to make a border around the edges. This will act as a dam to hold the epoxy in. I ended up doing three layers of this. Make sure to smooth it out against the edge of the table and get everything sealed up. If you have any gaps, you'll know immediately. And it's very hard to get those sealed up once you start pouring the epoxy. Now we can get to the fun part. Ready to pour some epoxy? This tabletop epoxy is a one-to-one -one ratio it needs to be stirred for five minutes to ensure it's mixed properly. I bought some white pigment, but couldn't find it when I went to do this, so I just mixed in some white spray paint. I ended up using four of these one quart cups. I like doing smaller batches because it's easier to pour. Use your stir stick to scrape the edges from time to time and add the color until it's the transparency you're after. Just don't add too much because it could affect the curing time. Thank you. 
I used a torch to pop any bubbles and give it about five hours before coming back and pouring a layer of clear. I let this cure overnight and came back the next day to remove the tape. I wasn't super happy with the clear layer. I don't think I used enough. This is an easy fix and I'll show you how after we get the bottom sealed and attach the legs. I used my circular saw with a guide to cut the edges off and square everything up. Then I flipped it over and used a router to chamfer the edges. You can also do this with the circular saw if you don't have a router. I sanded everything smooth and applied a couple coats of water-based polyurethane. I moved the top out of the way and put the legs together while it was drying. They took about 15 minutes to assemble. I adjusted them to the length of the table and flipped them over. I used the supplied hardware to attach the legs to the tabletop and laid out the electronics. Now we need to fix this top. I used 120 grit sandpaper to rough everything up and remove any defects. Just be careful not to sand too deep and hit the brass tiles. I mixed up another quart of epoxy and flooded the surface, allowing any excess to run off onto the floor. I came back and brushed the edges with a paintbrush just to smooth everything out and get rid of any runs. It's a good idea to keep an eye on it for about an hour and check on any drips. Also, don't forget to take care of the bubbles with a torch. I let this cure for 24 hours. I'm super happy with the results of this. This wasn't a big effort project and it only took a couple days to make, but it really looks great. And how cool is this adjustability? Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for checking the project out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Big thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon or has bought me a coffee recently. I'll put links to that stuff as well as everything used in the video in the description. Don't forget to like and share the video with your friends. And if you haven't already done so, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. That's all for now. So I'll see everyone over on one of these other videos.